Ah, dang it. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I'm here in the, the wool farm. Snip. Snip. And I have found it's a lot easier just to walk. But I need some sort of interior wall here so they don't fall off and fall down. It's also super laggy here. So I'm not sure if that's because there's... Uh, I've got a fair number of sheep. I haven't counted. I don't know how many it is. But I've got two of... I don't know, I've probably got 80 or so sheep in here. Um, or if it's all the observers, it, I've got a bunch of mine copper mine carts running. I don't know what's, I don't know what's causing it, but it is definitely this, this area is pretty laggy. You can probably see the, uh, how stuttery it is. Hey, you haven't eaten yet, but I don't know, it's pretty cool. It works. Um, I end up with a bunch of wool of different colors. One thing that's going to change if, uh, if the changes that they're talking about are for 1.14 go through is that uh, these item elevators might stop working because I'm feeding uh, through hoppers here into the middle of it. And hoppers act as solid blocks. They have a hitbox that is... Uh, a full block I think and let's see I can yeah see you can see that the selection box around it is a full block so they count as a full block and when a when an item enters the block where the hopper is it just treats it like a full block and then it continues to go on up and that's how we make these glass item elevators with the hopper being, it's not in the middle of it, but it's off to the side. Uh, items going up through it might actually say, hey, look. Oh, well. Uh, so it's as, those hoppers are as if uh, it's a full, it's a full block. One of the, the issues is that, that they're actually changing the, uh, the hitbox of the hopper so that they actually match the hopper size wise. Uh, which is cool, uh, and it will. It's probably being done partly to facilitate the changes to the water physics. Uh, but the problem is, uh, I've seen it shown that that will have a potential problem with item elevators. That items will not f float up through hoppers. Uh, that's the case. Then we we may have a, this. This area may stop working, so we may have to do some adjustments to all of this anyway um, I don't know we will find out and they may also change the the way items uh, entities behave when it comes to hitboxes of things like that and they may also change uh, the the hitboxes so you can see one one pass through here with not not clipping all of the sheep and a little bit of wall here which is cool it's not getting me stacks and stacks and stacks of each color. Um, I could go through and dye all the sheep the same color to concentrate it if I wanted to get, you know, a bunch of one particular color. But that's all. This is working pretty well, I think. I don't have that much of a need for light gray wool. Should go there. And this is gray wool. We'll go here, right? Great, great. Nice. Oops, black wool, nice. So there we go. The The wool farm works. I need to tear out this, this rail line. I don't need to be moving more sheep over there. This is a little bit of a pain because with my efficiency five pick, I end up tearing up a lot of the sandstone because it pretty much into mines. So I may want to replace it with something else at the time being. I kept a pair of sheep here. So if I needed more sheep of a particular color or need to transport them, I would be able to do it here, but I don't know if I need them anymore. And then the next step is to figure out cows. 
because I want to do a little auto cow farm and it's uh and that's one of these holes I I, I kind of dug both of these holes with the thought of turning one into like a giant, giant cow farm and the other maybe uh, like a carrot and potato farm that's why I have these guys here farming up potatoes or these are all carrots uh, these guys probably have potatoes oh and they got a flower somebody came and visited thank you Vax uh, potatoes these guys probably have potatoes in them. And then these, these two guys, I don't think have anything, but even if they do, my thought was to turn them into a breeding pair uh, so that I could breed more villages over here if I needed. Uh, but I haven't, uh, haven't set that up yet. And I'm not quite sure. I have a carrot farm design that I've been working on and it's not exactly the work in the way I thought it would. So it's a, my misunderstanding of villager mechanics i think but i'll keep working on that so so there we go i think that's all the news there is to show here okay vex put the flower there i think there's a good chance he decided to plant more flowers than that so come on come on fly up Okay, and don't die. Yes, he did. Very nice. Thank you. Did you hide one down there? No. Very cool. Okay, so we have more uh, more flowers hiding around. Very nice. And there may be some inside the rooms too. We can go take a peek. But I don't expect, if he's gonna put him somewhere, he's probably gonna put him in some place. I'm not likely to go like in the very corners like that corner, I don't, this whole quarter of the pyramid, I don't, I don't have any designs on. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So one right over there might actually be a clever place to put it. We can find out. I see a hole in the ground. No, it's just uh, stone blocks. Yeah. All right. Very good. So that's what's going on in the pyramid here. Not not a whole lot. Hey, look at this. Okay, let's go see if we can get some some heads here. This is a little ri oh, there's a bunch over there. It's a little bit risky, but hey. No glory for the timid. Hi guys. I got ahead. Look at that. Ha. Hey, dude. Right here. Right here. Right here. Give me another head, please. Please, please, please. Ugh. Okay, just one, but that's enough. Very cool. I have not started working on the witch hut yet, but I have figured out... Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ah, that's not going to work. I have figured out where the uh, where the layers are and where the spawnable areas are. Uh, I marked them here with the uh, this yellow glass. So this, this marks the corner. So it's the corner of the hut itself, one block above, and then uh, three blocks below that and three blocks below that the that's the the area and then on the front side it's it's even with the little porch area here and the same the same corner so uh as i said haven't started building it yet but that is that is where the individual layers are going to be i think i'm going to go with the shifting floor design um that i saw oops on one of the uh, Psycraft, uh, like Il Mango, I think. I'll put a link to the to what I think I'm going to build uh, in the description. And interesting little dots there. That's just rendering, just aliasing. Okay, uh, so this is. I think this is the uh, 
the design it, it works pretty well and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the witches and part of that is going to depend on how much I suspect is going to change when it comes to 113 versus 114 uh, in terms of water physics certainly 113 I think the water physics are staying the same I think uh, with 150 14 of course it will change because they want the water to have a slightly more realistic behavior when it flows around things like uh, fences and whatnot so it can flow through them which is cool uh, but it's going to be uh, it's going inter to be interesting it's going to make things a little bit different so that making stuff flow through you know using water to transport items will change and just you know it'll have you'll just have to adjust designs so what i'm thinking is i don't want to drop the witches too far I, I don't think i want to drop them as far as necessary you know like 36 blocks below this point because here we're already looking at y62 36 blocks down is going to put us down to like slime layer i don't know if this is a slime chunk or not but um it, it complicates things and then the AFK spot has to be um, 128 within 128 of that, so that the switches the witches survive when they fall. So it'd be starting down around 30ish and then going up from there. So you're only like 150, which increases the radius of the area that I have to clear out. Pain in the butt. However, if I can drop the witches off of here and just drop them a couple blocks and then kill them there either with water pushing them into cactus which is what i've done in the past or push them on to i have to experiment with the uh, magma blocks that might work or use mob cramming um so there's there's a few options there and then i will move this portal up to the afk spot up there so you come over here to the witch farm and you're already in the afk spot and then as the witches die and drop their stuff then it gets tele it gets you know transported up to where you are and uh, probably have a sorting area up there so i don't know last time on the last uh, season i built a very large area up there where i put not only the whole sorting system but also a potion machine and rabbit farm and a fishing like a, a fishing hut uh, and all that good stuff. I don't know if I'll do that again, but it certainly made it uh, interesting when it came to, oh, how do we uh, collect all the stuff for potions? Because uh, being a source of glowstone and redstone makes this a very good source of uh, materials for, for potion brewing. So this is my mistake portal, the actual uh, witch hut is a, li a little ways off uh, This is the one where I built it and I, I didn't do the math correctly in the nether um, So I want to clear a little bit of space around here So it's not dangerous to come here um, but I Don't have any designs on this spot But you know could be useful for something okay last thing to check on is i want to check on david s pumpkins so i've got him in a little minecart here he's able to move himself around which is pretty funny i was having a problem i realized it was not smart i had uh slimes spawning in here and i don't know if they were actually getting aggro on david s pumpkins or not but there was the risk of it so i put down carpet in here so nothing would spawn in here for the time being I don't think even if I step on this I don't know that this spot would even spawn it might it might there might be enough space there um, for a zombie to spawn but if I put a piece of carpet on this block here then the the minecart seems to get stuck and David's s pumpkins can't move can't pumpkin can't move around um, so he's uh, he's kind of stuck but you know that's fine. I need to figure out something to do with him. I'm thinking building like a little uh, Tower of Terror type ride and putting him in 
among the uh, the elevators. Build little elevators that open up, and then he's back there. Going, um, and I should also test, see if I can put pumpkin heads on other zombies. This guy, of course, spawned this way on uh, Halloween. But I think he's just wearing the pumpkin as a helmet. And as a result, I could make others. So that could be that could be fun. But we will see. Um, not a lot of farming going on here. How are we doing? We have full complement of villagers. Yes, we do. Only one golem, which is nice. They've been they've been uh, spawning pretty regularly. I'll come over here. Uh, clear them all out and then go away and then come back in in and out of the nether a couple times and go back over and there's like six of them in there it's getting it's getting a little crazy but all right okay well that was all i just wanted to do a little update nothing nothing too significant going on i've been a little busy and uh you know barb mix things has been has been on and has been working on her own stuff. I'm not sure what she's been up to. VexFX uh, has not been on a lot. He's been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch. Uh, he does uh, visual effects and, and he has a Twitch channel where he's doing like effects stuff where he's sculpting a, a zombie puppet and uh, doing like a Fallout prop painting and things like that. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitch channel in the comments because it's cool stuff. And if that's at all interesting to you, you should go check it out because it's it's uh, it's interesting to watch. And he's been streaming most nights. So that's, uh, that's something else to check out if you're interested. But make sure I don't have any other flowers in here. I think this has been pretty much peak saturation. The TARDIS is back. Uh, but, yeah. So that's it. Not much else. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Alright, bye.